Tonight, a 12 News exclusive on what some are calling Milwaukee's crime of the century. The heist of a 300-year-old, $6 million violin. Why can't you explain to us what happened? Um, now it's not the time to... This week, prosecutors closed the case, sending the mastermind to prison. Now, for the first time, Colleen Henry investigates an excruciating 10 days the mad scramble to save Milwaukee's Stradivarius. The inspired touch of wood and string turns air into song and song into symphony. The tool of concertmaster Frank Almond's daily toil was a 300-year-old Stradivarius that spilled the sounds of the centuries until it disappeared. Who would want it? Who would want this violin? Because what are you going to do with it? It's like stealing the Mona Lisa. For the first time, the prosecutor who cut the deal to bring Milwaukee Stradivarius home describes the heist that put Interpol on alert and pushed Milwaukee investigators into a burning international spotlight. My worst fear is... You know, unless we find out where it is, you know, it might appear in 20 years on some episode of Antiques Roadshow. January 27th, Frank Almond leaves a concert here at Wisconsin Lutheran College, his heirloom violin strapped over his shoulder. When a man in a fur hat zaps him with a taser, grabs the Stradivarius, and takes off. Some suspected the Russian mob or black market bootleggers, but this caper was executed by a ragtag team of locals, a dope-toking barber, a mom with a minivan, led by a self-styled art con. I'm sure he thought of himself as a fine art thief. A fine art thief, perhaps, but a sloppy one. Tasers drop confetti ID tags, which police track to barber universal knowledge Allah, who told detectives he bought it for a friend. Another snitch said the suspect had been talking about stealing a Strad for the better part of a decade. You have the right to remain silent. Soon, Salah Jones Salahadeen was in the city lockup. Do you know what a Stradivarius is? Oh, uh, yeah, I do. I know what a Picasso is. I know what a Van Gogh is. I know what a Lichtenstein is. 12 News obtained video of the early interrogations of Salah Hadin, who taunted detectives with denials. I couldn't sell it. I can't play it. I can't put it on display in my house. What would be the point? Salah Hadin talked for hours and seemed to enjoy the attention. People feel you're a master thief? Is that what they think? Or what? Um, I'm a humble person, so I'm not going to say people think I'm a master thief. Well, I'm sure ego played a lot into it. Several search warrants failed to produce the Stradivarius. The pressure was building. Assistant District Attorney David Robles says his job was to craft a plea deal that would shake loose the Stradivarius and satisfy Frank Almond and the violin's elderly owner. Were there moments where you thought, oh my God, this is going south really fast? Oh yeah. <laughs> Robles says Salahadin tore up the first written offer. It took two days to close the deal. He called Almond. He will take us to their violin, and it's going to be tonight. So you have a piece of paper, and you're heading to Bayview. Yes. Investigators, attorneys, and Salah Hadin loaded into cars and took off for Bayview. We were driving around, going up and down the streets, um, and he's trying to pick out the house. It was a location that Mr. Saladin knew by sight and not by address. Finally, just off Kinnick-Kinnick, Salah Hadin spotted the house. Investigators documented the rest in photos as they headed inside and up to the unheated attic. And there she is. There's the violin. Wrapped in a baby blanket and mercifully unharmed. Within a day, it was back in Frank Allman's hands, making music. Its storied history just a little more lush. Frank Almond and the Stradivarius performed Scheherazade here tonight. The symphony has seen an upsurge in interest since the violin heist. As for the other characters in this cast, Salah Hadin started his seven-year prison sentence this week. His barber, Universal Knowledge Allah, is serving three years for providing the taser. And the getaway driver? She got a pass. Salah Hadin's plea deal included a promise not to prosecute the mother of his children. In Milwaukee, Colleen Henry, WISN, 12 News. And one way, a concerted effort. Stay tuned. There's more coming up in the next half hour. Here, Salah Saladin discussed his initiation into high-end art theft involving high-profile Milwaukee gallery owner Michael Lord.